Hello, thanks for joining me today. I have a very fun haul that I picked up at Ulta. I cannot wait to share this with you guys. I actually have not tried it yet. That's just how dedicated I am. I wanted to bring you along on this journey with me for the first time and try it for the first time with me. So let's go ahead and hop on into this. playing with today is a brand called I Love Revolution. Have you guys heard of that before? I've seen it being displayed at Ulta. Very nice curb appeal, especially towards the younger generation. Um, kind of why I haven't picked it up and tried it yet because I felt like it was geared more towards a younger age group. But now that I'm doing these reviews, I thought it'd be a perfect time to share it with you because you just never know. You might be pleasantly surprised. First, I picked up a palette called White Gold. It looks like a melting chocolate bar. The colors for the palette are numbered one through eight. Don't mind my nails. I have a tutorial coming up, which is why I have not done them yet. This makeup did run a little bit cheaper. I paid $8 for this palette for eight colors, which I think that's a good deal. As far as like packaging goes, I always pay close attention to that with cheaper makeup because I, I don't want the case to fall apart. It seems to have been an issue in the past, but to tell you the truth, I feel like a lot, a lot of brands have really got it right recently as far as it comes to packaging their uh, makeup. Um, so this is the case, has a nice little snap to it, nice and secure. The back has nice thick hinges. And then these are the colors that we'll be working with. I did swatch them. Um, this is like my third take. Show you guys this gold. Picks up very well, look at that. Very metallic-y, and then the transfer. Next, I went in with this one right here because the lighter colors will have a tendency to kind of pull a little lighter. But again, I'm feeling very good about those gold. It's very subtle, very pretty. And then we'll go ahead and give this darker color a shot here and see what's going on with that because we know a lot of cheaper colors, the darker ones, don't really seem to hold true to how it's displayed. We'll go ahead and yes very nice eight dollars for this palette i'm getting excited so far moving on i picked up a brow gel and it's it's called tasty avocado very cute other thing i wanted to touch on is they are very good as far as sealing their products up this one has a sticker that hugs all the way around the box if it's been tampered with you know you're really gonna know so very happy about that and get my little scissors here. I have everything up here at my vanity, I swear. I'm I'm so I'm so well prepared. <laughs> I'm such a mom. <laughs> Actually look at what just happened. My um my gel here. I'm just gonna just gonna go ahead and take this off. My gel uh, nail polish is coming off. Certainly it's time for me to get that tutorial in for my nails that I'm gonna do. <laughs> Oh goodness, my nails are a hot mess. This this nail gel just peeled right off. It's an at-home version that I did, so I'm, I'm not hating because it's actually been almost two weeks. Anyways, getting back into our makeup. Fun stuff. So this is the brow gel. Really cute matte little tube here. Ooh, that's tiny. Just doesn't really smell like anything. Has a light, sm smells kind of like paint. 
but it's really a light smell. But a really, really tiny spoolie there. Really tiny. I'm sure the camera's picking that up and focusing good on that. And the color is like a, a light brown. I think that's pretty a pretty close reflection to my own brow color. Don't know how much it's going to help me because my eyebrows are mad overgrown. I need to go see my my brow expert for sure. Is that what you call them? I don't know. Actually, she's just my hairdresser. She, <laughs> she's not a brow expert. Anyways, moving on. Okay, so next we have a mascara and it's called Tasty Peach. It didn't come in its own box, but it does have a plastic seal wrapped around it. Come on, get off of here. Tasty Peach, really cute, cute, cute packaging. I love their packaging, it's so cute. Ooh, I like that. I like that extra click. You guys hear that? I love when mascaras have that extra like notch there to keep it nice and let you know that it's sealed tight. Ooh, that's a big fat wand. That will be interesting. Smells a lot like the um the brow gel actually. It's that's a really strong smell. Mm, very strong smell. So as far as the shade, it's just it's a black, it's a black mascara. I'm kind of nervous about the wand um, being so big. It transfers up to my eyelid a lot when I get into bigger fat brushes like that, but we'll see how it goes. I'll try my best. So I picked up a um, concealer, and this is the shade Custard. Again, it's nice and sealed. It's got like um, a plastic perforated sleeve you just rip off of here. I really like how well it's sealed for being as cheap as it is. I just feel like a lot of um, their brands skimp on that when it comes to like the cheaper versions of stuff. The handle on it is a very like soft feel. I like that a lot. Ooh, that's weird, right? Kind of smells like a paint again. Swatch that on there. That is very, very light. I don't know how well that's going to work. If anything, this might work great for a primer for my eyes. I think I'm going to use this stuff as a primer. I don't think I would use this as a concealer. Next, we have I Love Revolution Blush here. Shimmer Blusher Peach. The peach itself and the leaf, they're all like different colors. And then on the back, it has a little diagram that gives you the numbered color of each part of the palette. It's sealed up very nicely. It has little plastic tabs going all the way around it, little plastic stickers to kind of like keep the box nicely sealed shut. Very nice and thick. Not bad, not for the price. Snaps snaps shut very nicely. And there we got, you can see it's like matte here on the sides, the outside of the peach, and then the peach itself is, and the leaf is a nice shimmery color. Whew! That is going to be a very strong shimmer, so I will go in very lightly with that. And lastly, we have the I Love Revolution Highlighter Illuminator. This is in the shade Tasty Apple. That's different. A cardboard packaging. Woo. All right, well, that's what we're gonna be working with. It smells like apple, guys. Mm, that's cute. A super dark copper look. Wow, this is gonna be interesting. Well, I'm excited. Let's go ahead and get started with this, shall we? Well, to start out with, I already have foundation on because um, they did not have any foundation there. I don't know if they carry it or not, but the display did not have any. So I figured, well, I'll just work with what I have at home. 
So I already took care of that part. But I like to do this with a lot of the concealers that I use. The reason why I like to swatch on my hand is because next when I go in with an eyeshadow, I will use this swatch to gauge how well my eyeshadow colors are going to hold and transfer from my brush to my eyes without going right in and not knowing. It's kind of like a little, my little trick. Well, so I'm feeling like the transfer onto my eyes was not that bad. We'll see how it holds up. As far as the price on this, I paid eight bucks. So $8 for 0.40 ounces, not horrible. Go ahead and give this brow gel a shot here. Again, my brows are a hot mess. I don't even know why I'm doing this because they need to be done. I don't know if it's gonna make them look any better anyways, but I'm feeling pretty hopeful about it. The spoolie's nice and small. The formula, it's not thick, it's not too thin. Um, yeah. I feel like it's very, very close to my color, the color of my eyebrows. I like the color of it actually is a little bit darker because I'm feeling like it will kind of, for like my lazy days, when I don't want to use a brow pencil, that maybe this might work in my favor. Mama's brows need to be done so bad. Look at that. Look how dark my eyebrows look. You know what, though? I like it. This stuff ran me was $7, so... I don't hate it. I don't know what you guys think, but... I need to go back here to my magnified mirror. I like this stuff. You know what? I actually, I do. And the reason being, my eyebrows grow in gray. So if this is a brow gel, it's also pigmented. Help my gray brows. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my eyebrows look so dark. I cannot believe how dark this is making my eyebrows look. And I know that big bushy eyebrows are in, but not this bushy. Holy cow. Well. But aside from my big bushy eyebrows. <laughs> this is so amazing. Um, the color. I don't feel it's horrible. I'm feeling a little bit embarrassed right now. Like, <laughs> it's so dark. So I'm just going to go with it. I mean, that's what this is about. And you know, looking back now. Let's go ahead and give that um, eyeshadow a shot, shall we? I'll go ahead and start with my transition shade here. I was trying to decide which one I wanted to use because they are like a little glimmery and I don't really feel safe using shiny or glimmery colors for transition um, because of the fact that my eyes are hooded and I'm a little older and um, glimmery colors like kind of accentuate like the lines and stuff on your eyelids but we'll give it a shot so anyway let me load up my brush here let me see there is no fallout you guys there's no fallout it's loading up very nicely on my brush as far as how it's going to transfer ah that's not looking very well did well with my finger but it's not doing well on my brush well, here we go.
it's kind of hard to tell. You can see a little bit of the pink that's kind of winged out and in. So you can see on this side where it's, um, I have the color applied, but I feel like on the other side, I don't know if it's my camera. Goodness, I don't feel like it is picking it up um, as far as like the color. That's disappointing. I can see it in my makeup mirror here, but I am not seeing it on my phone for you guys to see. Well, moving on. So I feel like it does build. I feel like the color that is represented in the palette is very true to my eye. So moving on with this gray shade right here. <laughs> to do I'm going to go in here and I'm actually going to use this concealer good to use as far as like helping to kind of tighten my lines up a little bit more with my little makeup sponge here I use just a little this little corner right here and just kind of bring everything in together a little bit more here So I'm going to go ahead and kind of bring the rest of my color into my eyes here. I want to work in some of that gray into the underside here of my eyes. So we'll go in with this little brush here. <laughs> mascara a shot here. First I'll go in with a little curl just because I have a, a feeling that my eyelashes are going to look straight as a sword. <laughs> Alrighty. Again I start out with my tips just to kind of get a good idea of the formula before I completely commit. <laughs> seven bucks seven dollars guys so I mean see for yourself what do you think as far as how it it's applied I don't feel like it looks like a cheap mascara Move on here to this little cute blush all right I am going to go in with this morphe brush here I just got this last week and I'm going to now I'm keeping my eye on this shimmer shimmer and um mature skin kind of not a good i keep looking at my eyebrows <laughs> oh my gosh they look so dark on camera i promise you like i don't well no i'm looking at my vanity mirror and it's like a hot mess oh my goodness and it's kind of hard to work with them because 
I do have like a patch right here that like my eyebrows just need to be lined up so bad oh goodness anyway okay so um, I'm thinking I want to start out in the middle here well, well, well let's just see first because you see that whoa look at all that <sighs> I do not want all of that all over the place. Um, I don't think this is the brush that I'm gonna wanna use. I am going to go in with this little softer one from Real Techniques here. <sighs> a little bit better, but it still has a lot of, whoa. All right, going on the apples of my cheeks here. Ever so lightly. It definitely smells like they're trying to do something with the smell. All right. You can see it like right, you can see it as soon as I dab it on there, you can see it. Seven bucks. Seven dollars, you guys. For seven dollars, I'll rock this stuff. I'm kind of not like flicking it on because it has a lot of fallout. Um, I want to kind of grab around here to the edges a little bit. Let's see how it picks up. You can see right there, kind of picked up kind of thick. Kind of get the apples there, there we go. Hey, I'm not hating at you guys. Not bad. Wow. I gotta tell you, I was really kind of holding my breath. I was. Huh. All right, guys. I wonder if I changed the lighting here, if it would give a better accuracy as far as what I'm seeing in my mirror. I think that kind of helps a little bit. I feel like you can kind of see like a little bit more here, the rosiness, but this is 40 year old skin, you guys, and I'm using makeup. I really feel like it's driven more for a younger generation um, and I'm not hating it. I am not hating it at all. Okay, so let's go in now with our highlighter. Um, I almost feel like it's a bronzer because it's so dark, but it says it is a highlighter. And this we I paid this stuff was four dollars so let's see I feel like I have pieces coming out nope they're not they're just sticking out pieces of the brush I should say like little nope is that oh it's not coming out a little piece of the brush there okay so that's how it Transfers. I don't really see much going on there. All right, let's give this up a shot. Yep, I do right there. It's kind of dark and blunt. really yeah I see it a little bit well I'm definitely gonna go in and do a little bit more blending with this stuff I don't think I really want to go to town too much with it it's gonna make more work for my blending um, definitely darker. I will definitely say right off the bat that is a bummer about this, about this highlighter is that it can't really tell like what the color is because of it's, it's in the box. Wish that it was like left in, like it was displayed in like a clear, like, um, makeup case or something, but all right. I kind of keep my foundation brush close by for these kinds of things right here. Okay guys, well, 
I don't think it's bad. I mean, I feel like we're and looking back at my eyelids, they're still not creased in there. Um, I feel like the concealer hold, held up very good with their formula of um, eyeshadow anyways, the mascara. Um, definitely fanned my eyelashes out, lengthened them. Um, very happy about that. I feel like the blendability for the price, you can't beat it. Of course, there's more expensive products out there that may work better. I'm going to check back in with you guys later though and we'll find out about the wearability and how that does. I will not be using any setting spray um, or anything. One thing that I did want to kind of um, touch base on and my daughter has told me that this has been a selling point for her as far as brow gels. The Miss Makeup Wipe is not really getting this off very easily so if you're looking for a um, brow gel that holds on really good, try giving this stuff a shot. I definitely would. You can't beat the price to give it a try. So. I'll be back later. I am just doing a quick update with how the um, I Love Revolution is sitting on my face. I will say that um, I am impressed with how well it held up against my face mask. Um, I did go to the store and um, had to wear that around. I was like, I got in the car and I'm like, oh no, my makeup. Um, and I got back here to look at my face and you know, I'm not... I am not disappointed. I am pretty, I'm pretty happy about this stuff. I gotta say, I am gonna continue to use it. I am gonna keep it. Um, I thought about passing it off to my stepdaughter, but I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll just buy her own because I really wanna keep this stuff. I really like the way it sets on my face. I'm, I'm happy about it. Um, my um, eyeshadow, it held up pretty well. I will say um, I did notice a little bit of flaking that's starting to happen and it's been about four hours since I did my makeup. Um, I wish I could wait a little bit longer, but um, I have to get heading off to bed here pretty soon. But still, I'm not I'm not disappointed about it. Eight dollars? You can't beat that. Like seriously, four, four hours of wear, eight dollar product. Um, I, I'm really, really, really happy about it. So yeah, I would absolutely recommend you guys give this stuff a shot. I got it at Ulta. I don't know if they carry it at other places or not. I read off the prices that I paid for, um, but as always, I'm going to go ahead and do my research for you and link the cheapest prices I could find in the description. And just in case you guys were not aware, this is a giveaway video. Yay! <laughs> it's the first time I announced it. I'm not sure if that's a little dramatic, but I'm excited for you. So if you have been watching, um, you know that this was coming up. I'm so excited to see who wins. So all you have to do to qualify is subscribe, comment the product that you want to use, make sure you like that Facebook page, Mommy Time on a Dime, and tune in for our live drawing coming up. I got to get headed out here. The little one's ready for bed. Thank you so much for tuning in. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.